Welcome to the English class. Before starting the new lesson, I would like to ask one riddle. What has a face and two hands but no arms or legs? Once again, students, what has a face and two hands but no arm or legs? So, can you guess what is the answer this is a clock a clock has a face but no arms or legs but no arms or legs so this is a clock understood okay before starting the new lesson lesson number 9 a day at the swamp about animals okay so can you recognize the animals what is this creature i know you know it this is elephant sorry this is lion and what is this yes deer crocodile okay now can you guess Can you say what Tyrannosaurus ate? How do you know that what Tyrannosaurus ate? So we can say that Tyrannosaurus ate uh, dinosaurs or other animals because of their teeth. Their, their, their uh, structure of their teeth is like they are carnivores. Okay? So now open page number 112. Let's start reading the lesson. Belinda, the Brontosaurus, lived up by a swam 15 crore years ago. Day and night she swam through the swam, swaying her long neck from side to side. She ate tender marsh plants. Okay, Belinda, the Brontosaurus, Belinda is a, a one kind of a dinosaur and they used to live before 15 crore years ago and they used to play in the swamp. On special occasions such as her birthday, she stepped out, she stepped onto a land and stretched out her strong neck. It towered above the palm trees and pines. But Belinda wasn't as tall as her cousins, Danny, the Diplodocus, who stood almost 90 feet high, or Ben, the Brachiosaurus, who was.
everything. One day they were bored with gliding in the water. The three cousins lifted their huge bodies out of the swamp and planted their massive legs on the land. Massive means very big. Now here swamp means a wet and no lying area of land usually covered with water. Okay students, so swamp is a muddy and watery low lying area where these three cousins used to play. So one day when they got bored with gliding, what is gliding? Gliding is So what happened? They lifted their huge bodies out of the swamp. Okay, because one cannot uh, come out of the swamp easily. So they lifted each other's body. Okay, of the swamp and planted their massive legs on the land. Massive means very big, huge. They shoot the water from their backs and it sprayed out around them like a summer shower. Now when they came out of the swamp, they, uh, they shook their body. Okay, sprayed and, and um, uh, sprayed water means made water or liquid fall in fine drops. When you wash your hair and when you uh, move your head like this, your, all the water from your uh, hair will spray. So when they shoot the water from their backs and it sprayed uh, out around them like a summer shower. Denny wanted to play hide and seek. Okay students? But they were so much larger than any of the trees that it was impossible for them to hide. Now Denny was so big and uh, his cousins were, were so big that they were not be able to play the hide and seek game. So, Ben suggested, let's play chase. Chasing is a game like running, chasing in all, but we must go far from the swamp. Belinda want, now Belinda want that although we are playing this game of chasing, but we should not cross our boundaries, we should not go very far. They knew it could be dangerous to go far, to go too far from the, from home. Now, sauropods were only, come, were only comfortable when they lived immersed in water. Okay, sauropods, I told you, is a family uh, which they used to belong. Okay, so sauropods, so generally what they do, they are very, they, they were very comfortable when they lived in so much of water. When once they come out of the land, they were not comfortable. Also, they were too heavy to run away from a, new, uh, from a hungry flesh-eating dinosaurs. Means they were scared of uh, flesh-eating dinosaurs also. Uh, uh, that belongs to the land. At first, they played on the bushes and trees around the water. But soon the game took them farther and farther into the 
setting like uh, it was moving down they saw in a few moment last moment of daylight that one tyrannosaurus they used to call them terry terry the tyrannosaurus racing towards them like when they were chasing to each other someone was chasing them and racing towards them terry was the terror of mainland as they were on the land so what was the terror on the mainland mainland terry the tyrannosaurus was the terror terror means one that was great fear okay he had teeth that were 8 inches long tyrannosaurus had 8 inches long teeth the cousins were in danger they turned around and pounded pounded means run steadily with heavy steps okay so they they have started running back in the direction of the swamp but would they make it to safety although they were twice as large as terry they moved like elephants on four thick legs whereas terry curling his small front legs before him like a kangaroo made enormous fast leaps on his strong back legs so although they were very big from uh, in size uh, to the tyrannosaurus terry but still they were not able to run so fast and uh, terry was running like a kangaroo and making a big big enormous big leaps huge leaps fast leaps to from its strong back legs i prefer playing chase to being chased like this denny wait what denny uh, was like uh, it was like crying and it told i prefer playing chase to being chased like this means uh
Terry was scared of water. Now the situation has changed. Earlier, uh, the condition was uh, favorable to the Terry as they were on land. Now they were on the in the swamp. So the condition was favorable to the dinosaurs as they were in the swamp. And Terry was very scared of that swamp or water. So he didn't want to get into the water. So, his little front legs were not strong enough for swimming. Why he was scared of water? Because of his legs were not suitable for swimming. Hope you enjoyed.